I also heard that you do not really like flashcards. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Can you tell I, me I, about I'm, that? Yeah. I have done them. I don't have the impression. When you're doing them, you think you're doing something, but I, I don't feel that they have any lasting impact. Like Everything is a question of choice. Where am I going to spend the time? Am I going to spend the time going through these flashcards, scratching my brain, trying to remember stuff? Is that better for me? Or is it better for me to be listening to and reading material where I have 60, 70% of the words and I'm acquiring these new words, learning, forgetting, learning, forgetting, um, the words appear according to some kind of, uh, you know, frequency that I'm not too clear on. Uh, obviously the most frequent words appear very frequently because they're high frequency. Uh, frequency falls off very, very quickly in every language. And pretty soon you're dealing primarily with low frequency words, but they're showing up in a context. And so you're constantly exposing yourself to the context as well. So as a place to spend my time, I find that more interesting and more valuable, more useful than flashcards. So if, if you were to look at my statistics on link, I have, I think 40,000 words in Polish. Okay. It doesn't sound that cause I can hardly speak now, but I understand 40,000 words. I probably have saved 20,000 links. How am I going to review 20,000 flashcards? You count a word as like, for example, like the verb to be like, yes, is one word. Yes. Them. Is another word. Yes, yeah. yes. The th yes, oh, okay. yes. Right, yeah, yeah. right, right. Okay. Another question I had is, what are the biggest wastes of time in language learning that people get wrong? Like, is it spending too much time on grammar? Well, uh, certainly spending too much time on grammar. Like, you do have to spend some time on grammar, uh, especially after you had some exposure to the language. Trying to spend too much time on grammar up front is very difficult because and that was um, my biggest mistake looking back yeah because sense. you have no reference you have no point of reference right yeah. so it's kind of meaningless once you've gotten enough exposure to the language then you can start to help you notice things you can read stuff and but don't try to nail down the grammar don't try to remember anything read it as kind of a point of reference i also think flashcards are a waste of time like for me i i, I don't think they're that useful uh, I, I believe in, and also I don't think it's a good idea to spend too much time speaking before you have a large vocabulary because you're basically going around and around with the same vocabulary. You're going to get that vocabulary anyway, because all the high frequency vocabulary is high frequency. It's going to show up. So listening I find I speaking later, listening. Yeah. Listening and reading, building up your vocabulary so that when you start speaking, now you can have a broader, a richer, a more intense, a more authentic conversation. So a lot of people spend too much time trying to make sure they can say the few things that they can say, uh, but that's not getting them very far because actually we got a long, long way to go. And so that's, again, so I say, don't spend too much time trying to nail things down at the beginning, get a lot of it in you, and then you can go back over it again and, and nail it down. Yeah, I think my biggest mistake starting out was starting right on grammar. I didn't right. learn that many words. I learned just a handful of words and then I just started directly on grammar and this kind of bored me out at the same time. And then I kind of fell off, you know, many times since I started learning. And now I've kind of just been focusing on, I've been following, I think more of your advice, just kind of like doing the listening and reading. I've also been speaking cause I know some people as well. So I have some- Sure, you have a wife to. and yeah. I mean, it, when I lived in Japan, I spoke more cause I was surrounded by the language. But uh, yeah, I think the biggest mistake is people try to nail things down at the beginning. Yeah. And it's just a gradual process of getting used to the language and, and struggling with grammar rules is just frustrating. It's not how the brain learns. If you had to speak a language for the rest of your life besides English, and it had to be that language only, what would it be? Okay, difficult question. I enjoy all my languages. I guess the la in a way, my favorite language is French. Because I studied there as a student. It was my first yep. experience, in, you know. In Canada or in, in, in no, France? No, no, I- French school no, in Canada? No, in France. No, oh. no, no, no. I went to English school, but didn't learn okay. any. Well, we learned, but we couldn't speak. Yeah. Just like I know in the States, people learn Spanish at school. It yeah, doesn't yeah. mean you can speak. <laughs> uh, no, I got very keen and I went to France and I did my university training there, but, but that's, but still, if I had to speak Chinese my the rest of my life or Russian or, or I don't know, Arabic, whatever, but probably French. I, I, I enjoy, I really enjoyed my stay there. I lived there for three years. I mean, it was my, you know, as a student, uh, a certain, you know, attachment to, to French, but I, I enjoy them all. And, and I, I think too, 
that, and I'm sure you'll feel this, agree with me that even if you're moderately motivated, as you get into a language and you discover more and more about that language, it becomes more and more attractive to you. Yeah, so, that's kind of how Polish has been for me recently. Yeah, so uh, there's an expression in French, l'appétit vient en mangeant. So the uh, appetite grows with the eating. So, ah, uh, yeah. you, know, you know, if you do it the right way, if you're put up against quizzes and tests and trying to memorize declension tables and stuff, then no. The point is to have fun with it and keep it in Exactly, absolutely. And you've got that goal of visiting Poland in front of you, so that's great. So that's super, super.